Okay, so my first one would probably be Miss Frazier, even though I only had her this year. Um, she really helped me like make my cause decision, but also kind of be like a friend to me and like listen to anything I had going on. And then I would have to say Mr. Per Year because he has been like a father in my life and not only has been a, an exceptional teacher, but he's also helped me with like life lessons. And if I had a problem, I knew I could come to him. I honestly, that question, I have to get two people, Miss Destiny and Miss Destiny Eaton and Miss Lydia Young, because they pushed me to be uh, better every day. Um, and like Miss Destiny, she pushed me to be a special education teacher, and Miss Young, she really just helped me in being a, a better person uh, in, in, in the school building, out of the school building. The staff member that has had the most influence on me is probably two staff members. Miss Fitzgerald has had an extremely, extremely um, positive influence on me and helping me find a, a career path and all the different branches of the career path. And Miss Nicholas has also helped me continue to uh, find positives in the career path that I picked and helped me through the decision of college. Uh, my favorite staff member, one that's influenced me, uh, probably a tie between Miss Nick and Mr. Wilson. Uh, both have been very influential people in my life and uh, helped me really learn where I want to be when I grow up, so. Um, staff member, uh, probably Miss Fitzgerald and Miss Sweet, um, just really encouraging me um, to um, be involved in theater and helping me find that um, it's something that I'd hopefully like to do um, for the rest of my life, which would, um, so that's probably, probably those two. I would say Miss Murray, you know, taking her class, you know, it's always helpful. I had her for creative writing, so I had to write some stuff down that I normally wouldn't talk about. So yeah, Miss Murray. Which staff member has had the most influence? That's a tough one, just because so many of them have had an influence. I mean, Walters has, Wilson definitely has, and then just every teacher senior year, basically. It's a mixture of a lot of teachers, but I think the main one that has really influenced me is uh, Senior Master Sergeant Lindsay, just because of the fact that she's been with me through day one in ROTC, and she's cared about me and like worried about what's going on in my life. Like if I showed up to class, like not in the right mind, she she'd come over. She'd be like, "Hey, Kim, are you?" Okay, is something going on that I need to know about? She was just basically another mother for me, and she, she really did. She changed my life. Uh, I'd say Miss Murray because she helped me find scholarships for college, and it just made everything easier. Lounsbury and Murray, Miss Murray. I would say Miss Murray. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> um, because she's just, she's just, her class is so fun and lively and it just so positive. Um, I have to say my coach, Coach A.D., she's encouraged me to be a better person and a better teammate. Well, uh, all of our guidance counselors, they um, helped me out with the uh, with little knowledge that I have about the next chapter in my life and um, I couldn't thank them enough for all the help that they gave me. I have to say my, uh, <clears throat> my old math teacher, Ms. Brewer, she was the uh, first person to actually teach me math with letters. So. Uh, Coach Gentry, he showed me how to make something from nothing. Okay, so there are three people that I say have, um, have done a really good, or like, you know, done a lot for me. Um, the first, I'd have to say the JRTC instructors, um, Major Sims and Sergeant Lindsay. There, uh, I told Major at one point that he was pretty much like a father to me, seeing that I didn't really have a father um, in my life, but you know, he was really a good father figure. Um, sometimes I really just can't stand him, but there are some times where, you know, he gives out really good advice. And the same for Tony and Lindsay too. Um, and last but not least is uh, Mr. Spear. Um, I saw him about my sophomore and junior year. He was never in band, but I just, the way he led band and the way he did things made me want to try and do that with the drill team in RTC, and it just motivated me in a way I can't really explain. It's just the way he did things, and I remember my junior year going to talk to him about certain stuff and talk to him about how to be a leader and everything, and you know he just came out with it. And one thing we said was, 
it, he felt like he barely even knew me, but he like saw that how that little that little thing that he had done like changed me in a very good way in a very big way, and you know I'd say he's pretty right about that. So, oh, Miss Painter, I love Miss Painter. Um, I had her for English, and she she just left like a really good mark for some reason. I don't even know why. I think the the two that have the most it would have to be Coach Gentry and Miss Miss Fitzgerald because Coach Gentry he came in we just came off of two bad years of football but he showed us that it doesn't matter what people say about us or what or what we think of ourselves like we need to think of ourselves better than how people say about us and that's probably one of the most one of the that's probably the only thing that I'm going to take away from him because I know that I'm a better person than what other people say I am. And it's, I mean, don't don't listen to what other people say about you. Because no matter what, you're a special person and you're put on this earth for a reason. And then Miss Fitzgerald, she brought my love of music for me back. Because in middle school, I was in the choir at Tucker's Crossroads. But I kind of stopped because it, my dad, well, I've been told that music wasn't the very manliest of things. And so I kind of just stopped for a while, but, and then, you know, you start going through emotional slumps that you get in high school. But music helps a lot, it really does. And Miss Fitzgerald helped me realize that. And she helped me find my love for singing again, and I can't thank her enough for it. Um, I feel like Coach Martin, Coach Atwood, and Coach Mack all helped and influenced me just because they're always positive. They always have something good to say about me. Um, it just makes me feel better. It makes my day. I have a list, so I, mean, I had a couple. Like, it, just, it was just two years, but I felt like some teachers like, really had an impact. I'm not saying the other ones didn't. It's just, I had some, I don't know. Okay, great. I got Coach Mc, uh, McDavid. He was my, I think it was, I forgot, it was like, I remember what class it was. It was U.S. government, which I didn't really. I was like, I don't know about this class. It was kind of. I feel like it was. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna like it, but I ended up liking it. I really like the way he teach. Uh, he teach everything. It was pretty. I don't know. I met some people in that class, some friends that I still talk to. That's why I have like. That's why I probably like. And then uh, Coach uh, Southward, which is the uh, teach uh, Southward. Oh. It was the teacher of the year, which is probably out of all of them I would have picked. He was just like, it was his history, which I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do. But the way he, his class was like my favorite really in my my years is I. I always see him and I just gotta say hi to him because his class was like amazing to me. I liked it. I didn't ever really like thought your history was gonna be boring. I like history, but not at that point. You know, I felt like it was gonna be boring. It wasn't a boring class, and I mean, I have my French teacher, Miss Yanez, which she did help me a lot because I wasn't here, like I said earlier, and she still helped me. She'll let me train and stuff. Mm -hmm. Miss Hayes, my ESL teacher, when I got here, I barely knew English, so she did help a lot. I'll say she'll help me. So she, I don't have her no more, but she was a great teacher, an ESL teacher, even though she didn't doesn't know Spanish. She did help me a lot. And then, Miss Nick, because, I mean, she gave me a lot of opportunities to do new son Spanish. She would, you know, something I would mess up and she wouldn't get mad at me. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. She's a really great teacher. I feel like this class is one of the, I think you can learn a lot of stuff because I learned some editing throughout the two, two, two times I took this class. And this, it was, I would say it's pretty basic, but I learned a lot. I mean, I was editing some video a couple days ago, and it was, I felt familiar with it. So I'm guessing it did help. And Mr. Wil uh, Mr. Wilkins was my English teacher. He said, you know, I really like his class. He maybe doesn't think I did, but I really did. It was English. It was pretty nice. Pretty nice. I liked it. I never liked English, of course, because it was too complicated for me. It still is. Writing stuff is not my thing, but I, I did enjoy the class, like most of them. I, if I didn't like the class, at least I liked the teacher. Um, 
I would say Miss Mosley had the most influence on me. Uh, this is because she would push me to my best ability, but she also had a motherly attitude and treated us like a like a mom. Yeah, <laughs> smile. Yeah, yeah. She was easy very, to talk very, to. Very curious smile. 